today's video is going to be a little gorilla and kind of more old style for my content. Um, we're in the process of like getting rid of a bunch of furniture in the house. This was all furniture here uh, the other day. And we've just got like boxes everywhere. And, you know, we got these bags and we're just kind of like really spring cleaning and stuff and getting rid of a bunch of stuff of clutter. And as part of that, I have decided to try to organize some of my stuff better with 3D printing. They have, you know, all these storage solutions and everything, but I wanted to, you know, find some that would work for me. I don't care about like the grid stuff and all that, but also I apologize for the audio. With that furniture gone, it's really echoey out here. Uh, makes watching TV pretty interesting. But yeah, I wanna show you a couple of solutions I found for better organizing some of my stuff. One of them I'm not quite sold on the shape of. It, it works for what it is, and then you can take care of my thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. But first, a word from our sponsor, PCBWay. Here we are in PCBWay's site. You've got you know your instant quote, CNC 3D printing, PCB assembly. They have product capabilities here listed that show you all the different kinds of PCBs and things they can do. They've got projects here that are shared, so you can go in and find things that you might want to do. But the thing that really is cool to me is they do 3D printing. When I need something printed in metal, I come here. I upload my STL or similar file. I put up what the quantity I want, design units, material, all this stuff. And you just send off the quote when it's done. Someone checks it. And once they've decided that it's gonna be viable, they send you the price. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate PCBWay sponsoring these videos for the past, I don't know, seven months, something like that. Like really cool product, really cool service. You've probably seen this before if you've watched my videos. This is a GoPro case. We'll take a look at that. Uh, I've tried a couple different versions and this is the one I kind of settle on. This is the one I said I'm not too sold on the shape. I wish it was a square, you'd waste a little space, but then like, it would just fit better in something else. And then I have these ones for batteries because I've always used these things to store my batteries and sometimes they're kind of hard to open and sometimes they just open themselves and I just wanted to see if there was a better option. But first, this. It's kind of heavy because I've actually got a GoPro and I think two batteries in here. Yeah, so there you go. It just holds your uh, GoPro and your two batteries and you've got those little slots there for the SD cards. Everything's a pretty nice fit, although the camera is kind of snug, which I'm not the biggest fan of because I always feel like I'm going to break it trying to get it out. But it's better than like rattling around in there a bunch, I guess. It's just you've got to kind of finagle it a little. There you go. I mean, but it does click in there, so it's not going to fall out. The batteries, I wish it fit like the batteries, though. They're just in there pretty loose. And, you know, I just did this with the Galaxy PLA from uh, Bamboo. This is some PLA they sent me at some point and I had no good use for it. I just found that on their Maker World. Pretty cool little file, works great. Does add quite a bit of weight to the camera. So if you're trying to be lightweight, maybe find something different. But I can like throw this in a backpack or whatever, even my carry-on and I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I almost took this to Texas with me for that ultra human factory tour, but I decided not to because it looks a little suspect maybe. And I just didn't want to take a GoPro. I just took two phones and got by with that. So then there's these two battery ones. You know, they're pretty much the exact same thing. One just has a battery logo. I just noticed this one has some imperfections from the build plate. Probably time to clean that build plate, but they're pretty simple. They have very satisfying hinges here. They are a little kind of annoying to open, but oh, I guess I had it upside down. Oh yeah, there's the battery logo. Duh, Ryan. So these are exactly the same thing. This one's PLA, this one's PETG. This one I just did the logo in the same color because I had some, I wanted to see how it compared in PLA to PETG. And you know, I'm pretty happy with both of them. Although I do like the feel of this better with the PETG. Let me go ahead and open this one too for you. And this is all print in place, which was freaking amazing. Print in place still blows my mind. Um, I believe you can put like coin cell batteries in here in the cardboard, which is nice. Cause like, you know, your car remote uses those. I think the remote for my under desk treadmill uses those. See, this is what I'm talking about. I've been trying to get this thing open the whole time. And I can't because this plastic just kind of sucks. So do triple A's actually fit? Yeah, they do. Sweet. I hadn't tried these. They've been sitting on my desk for a little bit. Obviously this is gonna take up a lot more space, but I just, I don't know. 
I just have these sliding around in some drawers and at least this way I can stack them and have all my batteries in one place and you kind of get the idea. Let's check the double A's. I really like these EBLs. They're pretty good rechargeable. I used to use only inner loops, but my inner loops are like three generations um, outdated. And someone actually recommended these on Reddit, I believe. Maybe a project farm. I'm not sure. I think I saw these in a Reddit thread. Someone said they are very high quality. Yeah, I mean, those fit fine. And this is pretty much all I have is double A's and triple A's and rechargeables. Uh, occasionally I need a nine volt for something, not so much. Uh, and then again, like the coin cells, you know, I use coin cells in my, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance cartridges that have saves. And then of course in the remotes, like I said, but yeah, I, I really love containers like this. Again, like that, I think it's called Gridfinity. I'm not really a fan of that. I don't want that. And I don't want to, you know, people mount stuff to the wall. And I'm, I'm not all about that. But when I find things like this, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm still trying to find a good one just for SD and micro SD cards. I've had a couple and they're like so small that I'm afraid I'm going to lose them, especially when they're full of like 10 cards. Like I want something a little bit beefier. Um, I'm hoping by July I can sit down and spend about 40 hours learning how to design stuff myself. And then maybe I will just make one that works for me because it would be nice to have something, you know, more robust and I'm not going to lose my stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go get all my batteries in these. Uh, these things are pretty sweet. Y you know, these are great, but they're just like a Game Boy case or a Game Gear case. And they, they're just kind of finicky and cheap and they have these rails so they're supposed to attach to each other and they, they don't work like you can attach it and you pick it up and then they'll just like slide off and stuff but with this you know well you got one two three four five six seven eight nine so you get 18 double a's and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve triple a's probably fit i don't know five six coin cell batteries in each of those depending on the size Pretty cool. Let's make sure it shuts though. I'm gonna put these at random here just to see if there's any weird spacing issues. I'm sure it works fine. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, I have my new battery containers. Uh, two of these will more than take care of my batteries. I may actually be able to fit everything but my triple A's just in one. So pretty cool. Anyway, thank you again, PCB Way, and thanks for coming to this kind of hack together little video. I just wanted to show you something that works for me and maybe it'll work for you. See you guys in the next one. It is what it is, but you know, so, and yeah, you know, um,